Hey y'all, thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it, y'all, okay? Yeah, I was finna get ready to go to bed, okay? But some told me to just go ahead and do like a little reading here for y'all, okay? Um, It's a song going here, y'all, caught by, uh, let me turn it down, son. But it's by Drill over here, okay? And it's called... Baby, I'm ready. Baby, I'm ready to give you all of my love. Okay? So, y'all, this person is going to come in and tell you that they're ready to be with you. Okay? This person like, look, I'm ready to give you all the love that you need here. Okay? Baby, that is definitely, definitely a sign for me. I said, you know what? Let's crank these mugs up and just see what this... Oh, look, this came out earlier, y'all. Y'all finna get ready to have a baby. And, y'all, I cannot make it up. Like, earlier today, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Like, my boobies and stuff was hurting, like, so bad. Like, almost how it feels when a mother is breastfeeding or something or your boobies filling up with milk. Okay, if you know how they feel, like, that's how they feel, y'all. And, okay, my my youngest daughter is five okay but i was like oh my god somebody either pregnant or they figure it to be pregnant okay y'all got a spirit baby that's ready to be born here okay a spirit baby is ready to be born so let's see what we got here y'all okay give me some messages here angel spirit guides ancestors a man of the highest white light give me some messages here for my youtube collective and a person here all right, give me some energy on this person who's saying, baby, they ready to give them all that they love here. What is this? All right, remove any past energy from these cards here and only give me messages here for my YouTube collector. Excuse my rollers, y'all. I didn't feel like taking out my rollers for this reading. I didn't, y'all. Okay, y'all just bear with me, okay? My, my brothers and sisters and my cousins here, okay? Come on. Give me one spirit. Well, look, that came back out. All right. <clears throat> this person, like, look, baby, even though it ain't official right, right, right now, you still are mine. So whoever this person is, it's like, even though we at a distance, even though we not in each other's presence right now, like, you're still mine. It's giving me, like, you my woman or you my man when you ain't my man so this person is feeling just like that like you they woman even when you ain't they woman they feel like even though it's not official right now it's official okay so this person is like claiming you okay that's how they feel type shit this person could want to take you on a nice getaway y'all okay like when you okay when you all that's confirmation okay when this person come in and tell you that they ready okay look at this I want to express how um, I feel. Thank you for being in my life. This person, look. What is this? Something beeping. But yeah, this person going to want to come in and express how they truly feel, y'all. I am telling you here. Something about Christmas, y'all. I keep seeing Christmas stuff about Christmas. It was just 333 on the clock here. 333 could be very significant for y'all here, okay? Okay, we got kiss under the mistletoe, all right? Romance, fertility, vitality. You all definitely could be um, rekindling something around Christmas time, y'all, okay? Like, this person could be reaching out to you um, Christmas time, okay? Whether that's like, hey, happy holidays, or, uh, Merry Christmas. Some of them, they might be trying to pop up here, okay? But they definitely wanting to rekindle something and they're gonna be telling you that they ready here okay your energy just dope as fuck your style your grace your essence and everything it ain't nobody like you here okay and this person like look baby i'm ready here okay yeah baby if this person was a player in the past they don't want to be a player no more okay it says girl i'm tired of games so many women i can't even name baby i'm ready Okay, baby. He said all the women him he, baby he don't want them one of them because they ain't nothing, they ain't like you. You hear me? They ain't they ain't got the energy that you got here. Okay. This person's gonna be celebrating your wins. All of your wins here. Small, big, it don't matter. This person's gonna be your biggest supporter here. Okay, your biggest supporter here. Oh, 
And you all, you know, some of y'all might still be a little sad or some of you all might still be holding on to like, um, maybe how this person could have um, handled you in some way here. It says, I had to put all the pieces of my broken heart back together here. Okay, so that could be like how y'all are. Like you could be, you know, um, you could be like, you you know, you coming back in and I hear what you're saying. I know you telling me that you want to be with me, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And you love me, you miss me, you want to move forward. But I, I had to put the pieces of my broken heart back together because you just up and left. Like, you know what I'm saying? So some of you all could definitely want to make sure that you tell this person like how you truly feel before y'all just rekindle something and just jump back into something here y'all okay which is definitely understandable here okay you want to make sure that you know you tell them how how you how they made you feel here okay but this person look this person could have been scared of your psychic abilities if you all are very psychic okay or very intuitive it's like you were predicting things to happen or you knew things that you wasn't supposed to know and it scared this person here, okay? And it's like they didn't know how to deal with that here, okay? They might have only thought that psychics and stuff exist on movies, okay? They didn't think that stuff like that was real, but it's definitely real, okay? Even though your psychic abilities scare me, I still want you and love you. So this person, you all could have been different when it came to religion or something. Like you could be very spiritual and they could be very religious or something here. Or this person just didn't believe in like uh, maybe psychics or, uh, you know, certain spiritual gifts here. Okay. For some of them, they might have thought some of it could have been demonic. <laughs> Okay, and they could have been a little scared. Some of, some of them could have thought that maybe you were a witch. You know what I'm saying? Or some they could have called you a witch or just thought that about you, y'all, here, okay? Um, but, yeah, this person, like, look, five steps from eternity. We were four steps, four steps past love and three wishes. We were three wishes. From touching the heavens above. Okay. I know what we're called to do together. So this person is like, look, divine feminine. I know what we are called to do together. Okay. I know why the universe is fighting so hard for us to be together. Like, I know what we are. I know what this connection is. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person knows that you all are soulmates here. Okay. This person remember you from a past like it's like now they're remembering here okay they remember you okay now they know who you are and like what you know what y'all called to do some of y'all might not be talking to this person and they want to desperately speak to you okay and they're like look please talk to me they definitely want to talk to you definitely pregnancy vibes this person want to get you pregnant okay it says can't wait to kiss your pregnant belly Okay, and we already had out that a spirit baby is ready to be born. So you're going to be having a baby. If you're at the childbearing age, if you can still have children, okay, and this part might not be for everybody, but this is for the people that still in the childbearing age that can have children, this person wants to have a baby with you, okay? Like, they can't wait to kiss your pregnant belly here, okay? They cannot, all right? They, they they ready to wife you up and they and they ready to knock you up. Okay. They ready for that here. Okay. And they definitely could be look, sign your name on a dotted line. Like this person either gonna be buying you something and they're gonna put it in your name. That could be a home, that could be a car, that could be a business, it could be a marriage license. It's something that you're gonna be signing your name on that this person is gonna get for you. Okay. Yeah, this person always knew that you were their person here. Okay, it's like a part of them. Oh, look, this person, they're proud. Oh, my, this person is proud of you. Okay, but I also feel like it's them, it's you all being proud of this person because I feel like when this person come in, like this person is going to be different from how maybe they were before here. It says, I lied to you about them because I love you. And it's just sex with them. So maybe, like I remember I said that this person could have been a player. Or, you know, they just wasn't ready to be in anything committed. Okay? They might, even if they wasn't a player, they just wasn't ready to be in a committed 
relationship at that time. You know what I'm saying? Even though they loved you, they, they just wasn't ready to settle down yet. Okay. But now this person is ready here. Okay. And even if they were dealing with other people, y'all, it wasn't love in the situation. It was just to get their rocks off. Okay. You know, and they didn't want you to be there while they were doing this. So that's why they kind of dipped. Okay. It, it wasn't, you know, I don't feel like it was just them just choosing people over you. I just feel like they just knew who you were to them. They knew that you were the one that they wanted to settle down with. But I feel like, you know how you might not have anything official with somebody, but it feel like y'all in a relationship. And it's like, this person, y'all could have known that maybe y'all wasn't in anything serious. But to this person... It's like you're so pure and you're so innocent and they knew what you wanted and it made them feel bad when they missed with somebody, even though you all were both single, but y'all were talking or dealing with each other or something like that, y'all. Like it could have felt like they were cheating on you. So it made it difficult for them to mess with people. So it's kind of like they had to pull back from you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what this person did. I'm telling you, it wasn't that they didn't want to be with you. It's just that. They felt like that they were cheating on you when they were dealing with people here because they was not ready to be in a committed relationship with just one person. They wouldn't. They still wanted to date around and do what they wanted to do. Confirmation. Okay. That that's the the absolute truth here. Okay. Um, this person could be wanting to send you some money or gift you some money or something like that here. Okay. They definitely could. And I also feel like some of you are going to be coming into a whole lot of money. Look, this person want to spend their life with you. Okay, they want to spend their life with you. It says, for the first time in their life, they feel free, honest with themselves, and ready to show their true, authentic self. So collective with you, it's like you make this person feel safe here. Like, like they can show their naked self, and they might not have ever been able to show their naked self you know, to nobody, but with you, you make this person feel safe, like they could be vulnerable with you here, okay, like they can't, I'm telling you, like, it's like complete, I'm talking about their, their naked self, I'm talking about, like, true intimacy, y'all, I'm talking about the intimacy, like, without the sex part, y'all, if you get what I'm saying here, okay, um, quality over quantity here, okay, this person feels like, your quality okay so it's like they could have been dealing with different people but they didn't they didn't have the vibe that you have they couldn't get that same energy and none of them other people here okay look can't get over you and stop this person can't get over you they can't stop thinking about you here okay and this person knows that um, the way that they handled things or the way that they were moving wasn't good. And so some of them feel like, you you know, you, you may not want to be with them like that now. In the past you did, but you may not now. And some of you all might do, but this person feel like you might not want them back like that no more here. Okay, but they definitely want you. It says, I picture us having a family, kids, um, married, uh, and house and a dog. Okay. They're missing you. This person is missing you a lot here, okay? They're missing you a whole lot. They definitely want to get married. Look, the Spirit is saying this is going to be the beginning of a great love here, okay? And look, this person wants y'all to move in together. And it did say, signing the dotted line. And then I did not just say, this person either going to get you a car, a house, or a business or something. They're going to be doing something. Or a marriage license is something where you're going to be signing your name on something. But I feel like it's going to be this person gifting you something or surprising you with something. And then you got, let's move in together. Y'all, this person could be surprising you with a house and you don't even know it. Like you don't even see it. I'm telling you. Like, for some of y'all, that's a secret. That's a secret, y'all. For some of y'all, this person could be getting like a house built or this person could be looking at houses for y'all because i'm seeing like somebody being blindfolded and you're gonna be thinking that you you ain't even gonna be thinking that it's a house or nothing you're gonna be thinking that it's something else and this person gonna 
take that blindfold off, and it's going to be a house, y'all. I don't know who that's for, but that's for somebody in the collector. This person going to come back in, and they're going to give you an offer that you can't refuse. And they're going to be like, I'm this serious. Like, I'm serious about you. I'm serious about us. And I ain't just telling you, and I ain't just full of shit. So I'm going to show you. Baby, this person going to show you. I'm telling you. Here. Look, this song coming on by Kim. I can't stop loving you. This person like, look, I can't stop loving you here. Okay, look. They not having sex with nobody. I'm telling you right now, they're not having sex with nobody. They definitely could could be learning how to control their sexual urges. Like they could be learning how to, before they come in, they want to make sure that they're, they're not easily tempted. So they definitely could be practicing celibacy. Okay? I'm telling you, y'all, this person is not having sex with nobody. And I feel like they're they're definitely testing themselves right now, making sure that they're ready. They don't want to come in and, and be tempted or anything. They're, they're not having sex with anybody. I'm telling you. Whoever this reading is for, this person ain't having sex. You all could be celibate. But this person is, I'm telling you, could be celibate too. And they could be, I'm telling you, making sure that they're all the way ready. So when you all get married and be together, can't nobody come in and seduce them. And they go back into this low vibrational ass shit. Okay, I'm telling you, y'all, this person, they ain't having sex with nobody. I'm telling you, they not. They not, y'all. I'm telling you, this person is saving themselves for you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Some of y'all finna be shocked and surprised. By how this person is. It says, you are so beautiful to me inside and out. This person finds you so beautiful here. Okay, they find you so beautiful. Child, wait the fuck. Wait a minute, child. Did it come? I must have put it back in on accident. Good. Spirit, like, I said what I said. Spirit said I said what I said. This person ain't. It was 1707 on the clock. I said what I said. And this person ain't having sex. And he's saving himself for you. Didn't I say that, child? I thought I put the card over there and I put it back in, and it came right back out. So that's double confirmation that your person is practicing celibacy. So if y'all in separation, this person ain't having sex and they saving themselves for you. I'm telling you, for their wife. I said, I'm, I hear I'm saving myself for my wife. Okay, they're not. I'm telling you, y'all. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're real. They're realizing how important. How 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 sacred their body is okay they're realizing it like your body is a temple this person is realizing that their body is a temple and you you could have been like an example for this person because you all definitely could be celibate and this person i'm telling you if you feel like this person is messing off and doing they ain't doing it if you i'm telling you this is your confirmation okay this person is not doing that. This person ain't having sex. I'm telling you now. This person is practicing celibacy. They ain't having sex with nobody. They won't actually want to say they self for you. Okay? They want to be pure just like you. I'm telling you. Look, wherever you are, that's where I want to be. Look, I can't make it up. This person want to marry you. Okay? They want to marry you. They are not... Y'all, I'm telling you. This person is not dealing with nobody. When this person... I'm telling you. This person has been healing. That's why it's saying that... You, you know, you proud of them. You know what I'm saying? And you have every right to be proud of this person, okay? They ain't out there partying. They ain't out there smiling and grinning in people's face. Like, they ain't doing none of that here, okay? Look, all this but my eyes on you. So, it could definitely be women still trying to tempt this man, okay? It, and they could be beautiful women. Is that, you know what I'm saying? Nice bodies, all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But this man don't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? This man want you. He want you. Okay? And it's like none of them matter. So don't worry about is he talking to somebody else? Is somebody else going to take him away? Is he going to be? Don't worry about that. 1919 on the clock. This man don't care about nobody else. This man wants you. He don't care about none of that. I'm telling you. And this man definitely could be fine. Okay? He definitely could be. And it, it, it ain't hard for him to get nobody. But he wants you though. Okay? So know that. Know that this person sprung. I'm telling you, this person only see you, collective. All right, they only see you. You ain't gotta worry about nothing. Look, this person coming back in with new energy here. Okay, you ain't gonna have to question nothing when this person come back in. Okay, they have completely transformed here. 
Look, acts of service, lend a helping hand or one of, I told, didn't I tell you this person want to do something for you? Didn't I say you was going to be signing the dotted line? Child, some of them might even be adding you on their bank account, child. I'm telling you now, I'm picking it up for a reason. Shit, this person, ain't, he said, baby, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I'm about. I'm going to show you. If I ain't show you in the past, I'm going to show you now what I'm about. I'm telling you, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a real man. I'm going to show you how I do this shit. Ooh, that's giving me emperor vibes all day. You hear me? Or a king of pentacles. This is an emperor or a king of pentacles energy. I'm telling you. That's big daddy status right there. And whoever this is ain't playing no games. And they finna show you, girl. Oh, it said, let's dress up, get fly, and hit the town. Baby, y'all better go ahead and start getting them dresses. This man might want to get you some dresses, but you better go ahead and start getting them dresses. You know what I'm saying? I already had you something nice to wear, so when this person pop up, you already have something nice to wear, okay? Go on, do that. Now, I'm telling you now, when you're ready, you ain't got to get ready. Go on ahead and, and, and be buying you some little stuff. Get on that sheen and fashion over. Y'all, it's a hidden gem. It's called Lovely Wholesale. Thank me later. But a lot of they stuff, y'all, a lot of these stores that you go into get they stuff from Lovely Wholesale or Timu and they just resell it for a higher price. But you can get it at a cheaper price and it's called Lovely Wholesale. Thank me later. It's some nice quality stuff for a little bit of nothing and you ain't got to go all out your way to get anything and this person gonna love you in it, Okay. I'm telling you, go ahead and buy you some cute shit. Some little jewelry, some little earrings, and little stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So when this person come in, baby, you're going to be like, oh, I already got me a sexy-ass dress, some sexy pumps or shoes or whatever. I'm telling you, because this person getting ready to come in, and I'm telling you, that's the truth. Okay? Divine Masculine is going to defend. Baby, this person, I didn't I, didn't I just put out a reading and I said they finna defend you. Didn't I just say that, that you 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 the high priestess in the, in the last reading and I said y'all could have spiritual gifts and you told this person something, they're going to find out something. This person going to defend you. They're going to defend this relationship and y'all union here. Like, that's my wife. That is my wife. Oh, wait, baby. I, and that's how he going to be. That's my wife. I, I'm telling you, y'all, he ain't going to play about y'all. He ain't going to play about y'all, baby. I'm just telling you that. Look at that. What I tell y'all, boo. What I tell y'all, boo. Ten of cups. Ten of pentacles. It's going to be a whole lot of wealth. Look, let's move far away. This person going to want to move far away from the fuckery. Because it could. I told y'all, like in the last read, it could have definitely been family and friends. It's a, an influence trying to break y'all up. And this person found out about something. I'm telling y'all. This person saying, let's move far away and do life together. Y'all finna do life together and y'all finna move far away. Look, this person like, how did you get there? I'm telling you, you melted the ice around this person's heart. They find you beautiful inside and out here. And look at this, y'all. I can't even make it up. Look at this. Didn't I tell you the song that was on? It says, baby, I'm ready to give you all of my love. Gerald Avert. I can't make it up. This person ready, y'all. Okay, this, this is real beautiful, though. Let's get some of these here. My feet was going dead. No. What's that? Seven. Eight. Child, ten. It's going to be a, it's some type of completion. Y'all could be seeing ten or ten ten. Okay. And the spirit guides ancestors the mind of light, of the highest white light. Remove any past energy from these cards here. Okay. And give me messages for my YouTube collective for their person here. Uh oh, these were left in here. You do what you do to me. You take me, you hold me. You run me in your arms, baby. I love you for that, baby. The future. I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it. I want it all. Oh, oh, oh. I want it all. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Baby, I'm not going to play with y'all tonight. I want it all. Oh, oh, oh. I want it all. Oh, oh, oh. 
This person said, I want it all, boo. I want it all with you. They they sit up there and they dream about you and all that good stuff, okay? Baby, you hear me? Oh, it says, when I think about you, I cry. This person, I'm um, baby, this person could be crying. They could be crying, y'all. Like, they literally can be crying their eyes out, y'all. Damn, why my forehead looks so big? Y'all, I swear I ain't bald right there, but this particular, I don't know how, how I was looking, but baby, I looked at a little ball. <laughs> I am a mess with myself. You feel like home. Being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring me so much happiness and peace. You bring this person peace. Oh, look at this song coming on next. Yearning for your love. They yearning for your love. <laughs> hey, it's K97. We're finna start this day. All right. We got the Gap Gang. Yearning for your love. <laughs> anyway, y'all, for real though. Look, still listening. I listen to the music you share with me, and it helps me connect with you all, though we are apart. So y'all can definitely be connected through music here. And if y'all thing was to share music with each other, they're listening to every single song that you ever sent them. Okay? And they and they up there crying and shit. They crying. I'm telling you, man. This person crying. This person had mother wounds. Okay? This mother definitely could have been an influence on this person here. Okay? And look. Others' opinions got in the way. Okay, it says, I feel bound by my culture and my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting my... That's why this person said they want to move far away. Because this family and friend group, but I'm getting mostly family, could have definitely steered this person away from you. Okay? They felt like their family might not have accepted you here because y'all differences. And it definitely could be you could be spiritual and they could be religious or something and they harshly judged you. But this person don't care about that. They This person wants you. But they're breaking free from that. And y'all, I end up saying in another reading it was going to be bittersweet. And I feel like this is why it's going to be bittersweet. It's because it's like this person is choosing you over their family. Okay? Because they they can't find nobody else like you and it's like it's breaking their heart not going after what they truly want look i can't y'all i can't even make this shit up no one compares to you okay no matter how many people i've met and experienced i have there's no one who can compare to you they know that this person could have even tried to find somebody like you that their family would accept and it just don't it ain't it ain't hitting the same it's it, this person crying i'm telling you and that's that's the bittersweet it's like they're going to be with you. But it's like, are you going to want to be with this person knowing that their family really didn't want y'all together? Or it's something about you that this family don't like? So I'm here. I'm just letting y'all know what I see. It could have definitely been this person's family that had them acting this way towards you. Because it's something about you that these people didn't like. Okay? And so this person is literally choosing you over their family. So it's bittersweet, y'all. It's like y'all coming together. Now, this is not for all of y'all. You will know if this particular part resonate with you or not. And that could have been the hold up, y'all. I'm telling you, like this person could have literally tried to find other people just like you. And they couldn't. Okay? And look, this, this person could have had an overbearing mother. Okay? It says, my mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy with me and externally. But I feel like this is your person. Okay? I feel like this is your person here. Okay? Something about their mother. It says, everything that happened hurt me so much and I needed more time to heal. Look, I'm telling you, this person had to heal over something that their mother did. It was their family, but specifically this mother figure. I'm telling y'all. Now, obsessed. I think I'm obsessed with you, and I think about you all the time. I stalk your social medias and hope I run into you when I'm out. This person is secretly obsessed with you. Okay? They missing you. Uh-oh. This person saying, I'm sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you, and I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused you. You didn't. This person didn't want to tell you that they're sorry here, and this person want to let you know that you're perfect. 
All right. Look, your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how how I am attracted to someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. This person is grateful for you. Okay? They're grateful for you. And yeah, this person love you, y'all. I'm telling you. Y'all, it's giving me what's that um what's how Stella got a groove back? And you know, um she said, What could you possibly want with my baby? <laughs> I don't know who that is, y'all. What could you possibly want with my baby? <laughs> Oh no, child. But it was some differences, whether it was age, whether it was religion, whether it was race, it was something. It was some differences. And and whatever these differences were, this man family didn't want y'all together. Or they felt like this person, yeah. I, I can't make it up. Look, it was religious factors. Okay, this family didn't like you because of your or whatever it is that you believe in. They felt like y'all weren't equally yoked. I told you, y'all could be more spiritual, okay? And this person and his family could be very traditional, very religious. It says, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I cannot make it up. Okay? Yeah, these people didn't want, want this man to trust you. They didn't want this man to trust you, okay? But he he know he can trust you. See what's gonna end up happening. He ain't gonna be able to. He's not gonna be able to trust these people. But he know he can trust you. It says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. Okay, so it's like y'all gonna be uh, learning each other all over again because you all might not been together for a while. So it's like y'all gonna be learning each other all over again. Y'all could be very flirty when y'all come back in contact with each other here. It's to extend your lighthearted energy to yourselves. And look, y'all going to be holding hands here. You see how his head is on her? Like, oh my God, I missed you so much. This person could love, like, y'all skin to be touching. Like, he could love his skin um, on yours here, okay? It says, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So this person could be talking to somebody that they feel like that they can trust, okay? And and whoever it is that they're talking to is telling them like, bro, go after it. Don't it don't matter what your family think, it don't matter what your mama say. Go after what make you happy. And that's what they're doing. Thirty three again, thirty three oh three, okay? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. They finna get ready to make the effort, okay? Look, and they go it again. Look how that man loving on that woman. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. This man missing you. That's how he finna be hugging your tail. Look, express your love. Go ahead and make the wrong. And look, while he expressing himself, you gonna be like this. Oh my God, you love me. I love you too, boo. I love you too, boo. And he like, I love you, girl. I'll never leave you, girl. And you're going to be like, I love you too, baby. Look at that. That's how it's going to be, y'all. I'm telling you. Oh, baby, very soon. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Look how y'all going to be with each other. Look at that picture. I can't make it up. Y'all going to be so in love. Look, you see how safe you're going to... It's like you're going to feel safe. You're going to know that you can trust this person. When this person come in, I'm telling you, you gonna, you just going to know that you can trust them and whatever. You see how safe she feel? Like, oh, my God. Like, finally, we're together. Like, finally. Okay? Like, I'm telling you. It's like both of y'all going to feel so good because y'all finally going to be with each other. That's something that y'all both been wanting for a long time and it's like oh my god it's finally here it's finally here look at this look at the pictures y'all like it's finally here <gasps> look y'all retreat retreat for some of y'all the differences was somebody had kids and the other one didn't it was something about some children too it was for like for all y'all it's different okay yeah 
It says, give your relationship a chance. Okay, and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. When y'all come together, y'all going to be disconnected from the world. Okay? And y'all just going to be, I'm talking about enjoying each other's company, talking, getting to know each other here. Okay? Y'all going to be gazing at the stars and shit. Okay? Waking up to each other. Okay? Watching the, the sun rise and stuff like that here. Okay? Somebody could have possibly had to release a toxic-ass ex. The family could have wanted this person to be with somebody. And this person was like, bro, I don't want to be with her. I don't want her. Why is y'all steady trying to get me to be with somebody I don't fucking want? The mama or whoever could have liked somebody and wanted this person to be with somebody. And he ain't even want them. Like, bro, why is you inviting her over for Thanksgiving and Christmas and, and, and holidays and shit? And I don't want her. I done said time and time again, I don't want her. I don't know why y'all still letting her come around like that. So this person could have had to like literally release somebody. Okay. Like, bro, I don't fool her. Like, stop inviting her around. Like, okay. Or I'm not coming. Okay. Type shit. Yeah, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah, because I'm getting like. It's an ex or something that might have wanted to stay friends or stay cool with the family thinking that it was going to possibly have this person to get back with them or something. And it didn't happen that way. Like this person like, bro, if you bring, if you invite her again, I ain't coming. Shit like that or something like that, y'all. Like they don't want to be with this person. It might have worked in the past, but it ain't working now. They like, bro, I, he like, I don't want her. Like stop doing that respect my wishes like don't do that okay and and whoever this ex is could be mad as hot as fish grease because this person don't want to fool with them no more they could have just been trying to constantly linger just constantly linger the fuck around okay because somebody somebody there in this person family could have wanted them to be with this person because they liked it this person here okay and maybe because y'all had some type of differences that was just all the more reason to cut you out the picture or something okay you deserve love you're lovable so know that you deserve this love and this person knows that they deserve love too real unconditional love here okay let's get some messages from this here okay let's see messages from the universe angel spirit guys ancestors divine of the highest white light Remove any past energy from this deck here and only give me messages for my YouTube collective, please. And thank you. Ooh, this song coming on you. You. I finally found the nerve to say. <laughs> I'm gonna make a change in my life starting here today. I surrender all my love. I never thought I could. <laughs> yeah, it says what's meant to be yours is already making its way to you. What was never yours is starting to flee from you. With time, it will all make sense. For now, bear the confusion and focus on living fully in the present. Don't let your whole life be out. Be happy when? Be happy now. Spirit saying it, be happy now. Because what was meant to be yours is already making its way to you. You hear me? So just know that, child. It says opportunities will soon knock at your door. Debt will be wiped clean and your bills will be paid in full. And your finances are about to change so baby things are going to be good for you in your finances your career and in love and guess what you deserve this you deserve it but that's all i have for you all collective i hope this resonated in some way for y'all i hope this gave y'all some type of clarity here okay and thank you all for your likes your comments and your shares and thank you for booking readings with me y'all okay y'all been keeping me busy i love y'all so much here okay and y'all i'm getting ready to open up my scrub boutique and i'm getting ready to turn my readings into a business but this is only for y'all i'm gonna share this with y'all okay but um yeah i'm getting ready to do big things 
All right. I'll share more about it soon here. Okay. But bye, y'all. Mwah.